morning, HWC kids. So the last couple of weeks in Sunday school, we've been looking at different ways that we can experience or know God. We've learned that we can see God through Jesus and that we can hear God's voice if we listen. Today, we're taking a look at Jesus's first miracle of turning water into wine at a wedding feast and seeing how Jesus gives us a taste of God's power. There are two verses in Psalm 34, verses 8 and 9, that I want to read for you. They say, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you holy people, for those who fear him lack nothing. What does the author's use of the words taste and see that God is good tell us about experiencing God? It's like the author is inviting us to come and have a closer relationship with God, to just enjoy God. What do you think it means to take refuge in God? We can trust in God to help us, protect us, and be there for us no matter what we are going through. And what about fear? What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of the word fear? God doesn't want us to be scared and run away from him. Instead, to fear God means to have tons of respect for God and to worship God only because God is so great and powerful. When we do this, we depend on God to meet our needs so that we lack nothing. These verses speak about having a very close and personal relationship with God. Here's another way to think about it. I've heard that the apple fritter donuts from the Shop and Save in Fillmar are the best ones around. Just ask Pastor John because he gives rave reviews. In fact, when I Google the store, there are 156 reviews for the store, and some of them mention the donuts. Some people said they were the best donuts around. One person said the best part about this place is their freshly made donuts. I was pretty convinced that they would be good based on everyone's recommendations but I couldn't be 100% sure. So I thought I would get an apple fritter today to have a taste for myself. Consider it an experiment. Mmm. Wow. Okay. I have to say, in just the first bite, that is delicious. Now, that I've tasted and I've seen the donut for myself, I'm 100% convinced that this is one of the best apple fritters I've ever had in my life. This definitely made it more personal to me. I had to have this close relationship with this donut in order to know for sure that it was as good as they said it was. It's the same with God. We can read about the things Jesus did and read about God. We can listen to other people talk about God and see that Jesus gives us a taste of God's power, but we can't know God without tasting and seeing for ourselves. Only when we get a taste of God can we take it a step further by having a closer relationship with him where we trust him with our circumstances, whether they're good or bad. Jesus uses God's power for good, like turning the water into wine at the wedding feast. He protects us, he comforts us, and he shows us how much God loves us. When we depend on God in these ways, it opens us up to experiencing God's power on a whole new level where we can truly get a taste and see that God is good. So treat yourself to an apple fritter this week as you taste and see God by learning about him, talking to him, and trusting him. Bye.